So if you want to build a data center compliant with what the hyperscalers want, it used to be 250 megawatts. Now it's 1.4 gig. 0.4 is redundancy to maintain the AI learnings uh, up. The electricity has to be up only, you know, 99% of the time. There isn't a single gig left on the grid. And the reason you can't get it is you go into a town and say, look, I'm going to build a data center here, 10,000 jobs, I need permits, I need power, I need water to cool it. But I have to tap into the grid. So the cost of your electricity to the hospital, the library, mm. every residential home is going to go up 30 percent. That's why you can't get that permit. So the only way to do this now is off stranded natural gas. Now, which states have that? You got North Dakota, you got West Virginia, you have Texas, Mississippi. But who's the granddaddy or grandmama of all of the lowest cost natural gas? Alberta, Canada. It's miles cheaper than anywhere else in North America. It's sub four cents a kilowatt hour. Everywhere else is north of six cents a kilowatt hour. And so we've got a real dilemma here. Let's stop beating up the Canadians and let's kind of partner with them because right now the Chinese are killing us, kicking our asses in AI development. Here's how it works. Supreme Leader says, put a gig right here. There's no permitting. The Supreme Leader said, build a plant, a coal burning plant to generate 1.4 gig of power. Every month, another one. Every month, another one. And what are they going to do with this? Military. That's the first thing that's going to happen. They're going to beat us on drone technology. They're kicking our butts in just the capacity. And I'm telling you, China, I'm not against the people of China. They are our enemy in everything you want to look at, whether it's manufacturing, the economy, education, everything, everything that we want to be number one at, they're coming after us.